This is a video representation of Service Information Bulletin 2-6, designed to teach you how to unstick a frozen clutch. If your clutch includes a tapered split bushing instead of a set screw, remove it and reinstall it on the engine's crankshaft before proceeding. Place against the fixed jaw of your vise the face of the clutch that is closest to the engine. The movable vise jaw is then positioned to exert pressure against the throwout bearing. Do not remove the cast cover for the bearing. Carefully position the cover's two tabs so that the tabs are at the top of their arc, extending over the top of the vise jaw. The jaw is pressing on the broad portion of the cover. Turn your vise jaw slowly until you hear it pop. This indicates that the inner and outer clutch cones have now been separated. Note that the distance of movement is no more than a quarter inch. In order to avoid damaging the internal spring, do not separate the two cones any further. To reassemble, please remember to rotate the throwout bearing cover so that the tabs are at the bottom of the arc. This assures that the two fingers of the clutch fork will be positioned on top of the bearing cover's tabs when you reassemble the engine clutch assembly to the tractor transmission. In conclusion, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this short video, please call 888-224-4271 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.